tonight. The president today visited Fresno, and the issue, the crisis that brought him there, is of top importance up and down the state of California and elsewhere, and that's the drought. It's one of the driest years in recorded history, no relief in sight. While the president today announced $160 million in aid money, while farmers in the Central Valley are thankful for the economic assistance, they also said it will do nothing to solve the state's long-term water problems. We begin there tonight with NBC's Miguel Almaguer. Sunrise in the San Joaquin Valley. In a region that grows a third of the nation's fruits and vegetables, another winter day without rain. One more, At the right? local diner in Firebaugh, these are difficult are days. Space if there's no water, you can't farm. We are all directly and indirectly together in this. LaVon Allen could lose her restaurant. They're just not spending money. They're running scared. Allen has owned the diner for three years. Her husband's family has been in farming for three generations. It's a complete loss, not just for us, but for our employees and for the community. Joel Allen's 20-man crew is out of work. Next year, he may be out of farming. It's to the point where we're, we're scratching our head. What are we going to do next? Fireball is one of several communities here in the Central Valley that feeds the nation. But the drought has turned this region into a virtual dust bowl. Without water, the harvest in this field is ruined. At the local grocery store, fruit prices are up, sales are down. The market had to lay off three employees, and many more in this town of nearly 8,000 are leaving. Fireball's in serious trouble. Without a doubt, it's a, it's a severe crisis. City manager Ken McDonald says the situation in Fireball is so bad, the food bank is feeding farmers. We could have the drought end today, and the city might not be feeling the positive effects of, of the drought ending for a year or two after that. A lot of people don't realize the uh, the amount of money that's going to be lost, the amount of jobs that are going to be lost. And we can't recapture that. The drought is putting businesses and families here underwater. Tonight, the Allens and their neighbors wait for rain as the sun sets on another dry day. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Fireball, California. And now 